They shot her seven times. One bullet shattered her spine. She's now paralyzed from the waist down and undergoing rehabilitation at the Spinal Injury Hospital in Nairobi. Rachel Gikonyo was studying at Garissa University in northern Kenya when Al-Shabaab fighters attacked in April. Her parents live more than 100 kilometers north of Nairobi and just come into the city every other week to visit and take care of Rachel has taken a toll on the family. At first, it was very hard. She will not eat. She did not want to talk to anyone. We had to be there to make sure she is well taken care of. They'll never forget these images from the attack and the day's family members spent looking for her, not knowing whether she was alive or dead. I have realized that life, life is in the hands of God and you have to find strength in each and every situation, no matter good or bad. Garissa University is due to reopen next year. A police camp has now been set up inside the university compound. Many security changes have also been made in this region. The number of Al-Shabaab related attacks in northern Kenya has gone down significantly. Security officials say this is because of better intelligence and coordination with the local community. But members of the Somali community believe that security has come at a cost to them. Omar Soyan says his nephew was arrested by police before the Garissa attack. His family haven't seen him since. We have looked everywhere. We went to the police station where he was taken. They told us they didn't have him. We've gone to mortuaries and also involved parliament, but nothing. Human rights groups accuse security forces of unlawfully detaining and executing suspects. More than 70 people in this vast region are said to have disappeared since April. We don't kidnap anybody. But they are arrested from their homes or from wherever. And they are in custody. Not necessarily in Garissa, but they can be taken to Nairobi or any other part of Kenya for, for proper Processing. Rachel is far from the politics. In the hospital that's now been her home for months, she's working hard on regaining her fitness and at the same time coming to terms with the fact that she may never walk again. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Garissa in northeastern Kenya.